My name is Jesse. P is for pride. Do your personal best at all times. My name is Ronnie. A is for attitude. Behave in a positive way. My name is Liam. C is for citizenship. Do what is right and make choices that are safe. My name is Relia. K is for kindness. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Together we are part of the pack. My name is Frenchie and I am here for the red weather forecast of the week. Monday 56 degrees, Tuesday 49 degrees, Wednesday 46 degrees, Thursday 48 degrees, Friday 46 degrees. It will be partly cloudy all week but you will need a coat to keep warm. Winter is upon us. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> My name is Gabe and I'm here with your weekly history lesson. On November 8, 1895, a German physicist accidentally discovered x-rays. X-rays are a type of electromagnetic radiation that are often used today in medicine. The inventor won a Nobel Prize award for his discovery in 1901. Maybe one of us could accidentally discover something. Fascinating! <laughs> My name is Jordan, and today is National Bittersweet Chocolate Day, Chocolate with Almonds Day. Did you know that bittersweet chocolate with almonds is healthy? A healthy way to enjoy chocolate. If you eat these two things in a in small amounts, it it's actually good for your body. Chocolate and almonds, healthy and delicious. Yum. Hi, I'm Owen Corley, and this is the strange case of origami Yoda. We, in class, I had to do a book report, so I chose this book. Here's the cover of it. Um, down here is the rating and the information about it. Then here's my picture of it. And then if you slide over here, here's the main characters. Then here's a little thing that describes the setting. And then here is a summary about what happens in the book. And then here is my game that I made. It's a maze. And then there's a kid named Harvey who does comments on the after every chapter. And they're always mean, so I put a fake comment there. And then Tommy always makes a comment after. So I did that. And then if you open it up, I have an origami Yoda. Two of them, actually. And then, and then, here you go. So that's my book report.
Daisy Brook, we have so many positive interactions happening every day, and I'd just like to highlight a couple of those interactions that I've seen this past week. First, in my math groups, uh, we have a lot of kindness happening. I have a lot of students helping each other out if we see someone struggle, and they're showing support, rooting each other on, and helping each other whenever someone sees it. In the morning at drop-off, we have a lot of great students showing citizenship. They're helping each other out. They're greeting me in the morning. They're ready to get out of their cars and getting out quickly so that the road's not backing up and traffic's not backing up. So I appreciate all those in the morning that we see. Um, another thing this morning, I saw someone picking up some garbage that they saw along the side of the road, brought it down. So they are showing pride in the building. And over Halloween, I heard some pretty good stories of students this past week who gave candy to others. One. Uh, home was out of candy so they took some of their candy and gave it to that home so that others could come trick-or-treating and so many students brought in candy to help our soldiers so there's some great moments and some positive interactions happening every day and i look forward to seeing them um, also this morning someone gave me this special gift just for me um, it's a gift that keeps on giving and i'll pass it around to share with others also so way to go packer nation go pack and i look forward to seeing some more of those interactions I don't know.